It can happen in an instant, and it's an issue we are seeing time and time again. Now, Metro Police are searching for the woman accused in the brutal beating of a Nashville ICU nurse. Road rage is on the rise, and drivers across Nashville are scared for their safety. Metro Police are yet again investigating one of these cases this time involving two women. Metro Police say a female driver sideswiped another car turning onto Briley Parkway from Gallatin Pike on June 7th around 10 p.m. That's when the victim, who asked not to be identified because this is an open case, says they pulled over and the other driver attacked. I rolled my window down and she ran out of her car and just began punching me in the face over and over again. She started screaming as soon as she ran out of her car and got to my car. She started screaming, I've got a baby on board. And she did scream that at me several times while she was hitting me. The victim is an ICU nurse who hasn't been able to return to work. My nose is broken, my jaw is broken, and um, I'm going to have some dental work that I need to get done. There was blood everywhere and I was already extremely swollen. She says it's already been a difficult time for essential workers, and this didn't help. It has been a wild year to be an ICU nurse anyway, so this is definitely kind of the icing on the cake. The suspect drove off before the victim could get her license plate, but she hopes someone watching will be able to identify the suspect. If anyone saw anything or sees a white Camry with green paint on it on the driver's side to call it in to the police. She also has a few words of advice for drivers. Be careful and you never expect someone to respond in such an outlandish and outrageous way. And you never expect to be the victim of someone just behaving so far outside of the realm of what we see as normal behavior. Metro police urge anyone in a situation like this to call them immediately. Anyone with information can contact Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. In Nashville, Alex Cordetti, News 2.